national highway system with no top speed limit. If you love cars, chances are driving the Autobahn as fast as you can is one of the things you want to do before you die. When people think of Germany, they often imagine high-performance cars at full speed. But what truly sets the country apart is the Autobahn, a highway system where speed limits often disappear. Behind its ordinary appearance lies an extraordinary engineering philosophy. Built as a precision structure rather than simple pavement, the Autobahn uses advanced standards and construction methods that make it one of the safest high-speed road networks in the world. Let's uncover what makes it the gold standard of modern highway engineering. precision planning before a single road is built. When most people think of highways, they imagine endless asphalt stretching into the horizon, cars zooming past, and the occasional traffic jam. But in Germany, highways are far more than just roads. They are carefully planned systems engineered to handle extreme speeds safely, and the process begins long before a single lane of asphalt is poured. This highway system is called the Autobahn. Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, these cars have made Germany famous for automotive engineering, and they are fast and powerful enough for these equally famous German roads, which are unlike any other in the world. The first step in planning a modern German highway is a deep dive into feasibility and geography. Engineers conduct extensive studies of soil quality, drainage patterns, and topography. Germany is a country of varied landscapes, rolling hills in Bavaria, flat plains in northern regions, and winding river valleys in the west. Each type of terrain presents unique challenges. Building a highway that can support vehicles traveling at over 124 miles per hour requires an almost surgical understanding of the ground beneath the road. Poor soil could lead to settling, cracks, or potholes, any of which could turn high-speed driving into disaster. But it's not just the physical landscape that matters. Planners spend months, sometimes years, analyzing traffic patterns. They project vehicle growth decades into the future, estimate freight transport volumes, and even consider how urban development might expand. The goal is not only to move cars efficiently today, but to anticipate what the highway will need to handle 20, 30, or even 50 years down the line. In Germany, highways are meant to last, and their capacity is designed with foresight that many countries struggle to achieve. Another critical element is environmental planning. Germany has strict laws protecting forests, wetlands, and wildlife habitats, which means highway planners must design routes that minimize ecological disruption. This could involve building tunnels through hills instead of cutting them down, creating overpasses specifically for animals to cross safely, or rerouting entire sections to. While it can slow down construction, this engagement prevents future conflicts and ensures that the highway doesn't become a liability. For high-speed driving to be safe, the road itself cannot have sudden blind curves, unanticipated merges, or unexpected construction zones. Planning and public input help prevent these dangerous surprises. Planning lays the blueprint, but it's only the beginning. Once engineers know exactly where a highway will go, the next challenge is making sure it can stand the test of time and the pressures of high-speed travel. That's where engineering for longevity and speed comes in. Every curve, every layer of asphalt, every overpass must be designed not just to exist, but to thrive under the extreme demands of Germany's famously fast traffic. Engineering for longevity and high speed. This process starts with the foundation of the highway. Unlike standard roads that may be layered with asphalt over compacted soil, autobahns are constructed with multiple, carefully calculated layers. The bottom layer is often a bed of crushed stone or gravel, meticulously compacted to distribute weight evenly and prevent settling. Above this lies a binder layer, followed by the asphalt or concrete surface. Each layer is engineered to handle not just the weight of trucks and cars, but also the dynamic stresses caused by vehicles traveling at high speed. At 124 miles per hour, even small irregularities in the road surface can amplify forces dramatically, causing vibrations that damage the road over time. Material selection is another cornerstone of longevity. Modern Autobahns use high-grade concrete or specialized asphalt that resists cracking, rutting, and degradation from weather extremes. Germany experiences everything from scorching summer heat to freezing winters with heavy snow, and the highways must endure this without losing their structural integrity. Add in constant truck traffic and tens of thousands of vehicles per day, and the road is under immense pressure. Engineers carefully test every material, sometimes even simulating years of traffic in a lab, to ensure that the road can last decades without significant repairs. 
But engineering for high-speed travel isn't just about the materials. Road geometry is also meticulously calculated. On many sections of the Autobahn, drivers can travel safely at speeds that would be considered reckless on a standard highway, all because of the precision in the design phase. Bridges and overpasses are also engineered with speed in mind. While a normal bridge might simply hold up under the weight of traffic, Autobahn bridges are designed for dynamic forces, including vibrations and oscillations caused by fast-moving trucks. Expansion joints, railings, and surface textures are all calculated to prevent accidents at high speeds. Even guardrails are tested to ensure that collisions at elevated velocities don't produce catastrophic outcomes. Essentially, every structural component becomes part of a high-speed ecosystem where the road and the vehicle are in harmony. Drainage and surface treatments play a surprisingly critical role, too. Water, ice, and snow are enemy number one at high speeds. Autobahns are constructed with precise gradients and high-quality drainage systems that prevent puddles, hydroplaning, and ice accumulation. In addition, asphalt surfaces are often textured to improve tire grip and reduce skidding, even when it rains heavily. This allows drivers to maintain higher speeds with confidence, knowing that the road itself is actively helping prevent accidents. Engineering for longevity is inseparable from Germany's culture of foresight. Autobahns are meant to last decades, reducing the need for disruptive repairs that could slow traffic. This long-term perspective means German highways are overbuilt, in a sense, by international standards. What might seem like an extravagant investment up front, thicker pavement, wider lanes, extensive drainage, is actually a cost-saving strategy over the road's lifetime, ensuring that speed and safety can coexist for years without compromise. Even the most perfectly engineered highway cannot maintain its integrity without constant care. No matter how thick the asphalt or precise the curves, ecades of traffic, weather, and the sheer forces of high-speed travel will inevitably take their toll. That is why Germany doesn't stop at engineering alone. Continuous maintenance is not an afterthought, it's an essential part of the Autobahn's design philosophy. The road is built to endure, but it must also be nurtured, inspected and maintained, night after night, year after year, to keep it safe for the speeds it allows. Road markings, the silent language that makes speed possible. Once the asphalt has been laid, compacted, and allowed to cool into full structural stability, the road may look finished, but in reality, it's still silent. A highway without markings has no voice, and in Germany, where drivers may legally travel at extreme speeds, that silence is unacceptable. Before a single line is painted, precision takes over, as is the recurring theme. Survey teams arrive with laser measuring tools, digital mapping data, and guide strings, ensuring that every marking will be placed exactly where engineers intended during the design phase. At Audubon speeds, even small deviations matter. A line that is slightly off-center can distort a driver's perception. That's why layout confirmation is treated with the same seriousness as structural engineering. Lane dividers, stop lines, merge guides, arrows, and directional markings are all verified before any paint touches the surface. Once the layout is approved, specialized striping machines move into position. These are not ordinary paint trucks. They are highly calibrated machines designed specifically for highway standards capable of applying markings with exact thickness, width, and spacing. On the Autobahn, markings are expected to remain visible under rain, glare, darkness, and heavy traffic, often for years. That durability begins with the material itself. Germany primarily uses thermoplastic reflective compounds, heated to roughly 180 to 200 degrees Celsius before application. This high temperature ensures maximum adhesion to the asphalt surface. The thermoplastic markings partially fuse with the road, forming a bond strong enough to withstand high-speed tire friction, snow plows, and extreme temperature shifts. This matters because at very high speeds, fading or peeling markings are not minor defects. They are safety risks. As the striping machine advances steadily down the highway, its spray head lays down lines with surgical precision. Width and thickness are continuously monitored and adjusted in real time to meet national highway specifications. Immediately after the hot material is applied, glass beads are dropped onto the fresh surface. These beads are small, almost invisible in daylight, but they perform a critical function once the sun sets. When headlights strike the beads at night, the light is reflected directly back toward the driver. This retro-reflective effect dramatically improves lane visibility, 
especially at high speeds where reaction time is limited. In rain or darkness, these beads become essential. They transform road markings from passive paint into active safety tools, guiding drivers through space with clarity and confidence. Without them, unrestricted speed would be irresponsible. And just like the road surface beneath them, they are continuously monitored. If reflectivity drops or wear becomes noticeable, markings are refreshed long before they reach failure. There is also a psychological component at play. Clean, sharp, well-maintained markings signal order. They encourage disciplined driving behavior without enforcing it. On sections of Autobahn without speed limits, drivers rely heavily on visual cues to judge lane position, curvature, and spacing. The markings do not tell drivers how fast to go. They tell them how to stay in control. This is why road markings are not treated as cosmetic details in Germany. They are engineered systems designed to operate at the limits of human perception. At 124 miles per hour, a driver cannot afford to decode unclear signals. The markings must speak instantly, fluently, and without contradiction. They must remain consistent across regions so that drivers always know what to expect, regardless of where they are in the country. This approach aligns perfectly with the Autobahn's broader philosophy. Nothing that supports speed is allowed to degrade unnoticed. In the end, road markings are the Autobahn's quietest feature, but also one of its most important. They don't roar like engines or dominate headlines like the absence of a speed limit. Yet without them, the system would collapse into uncertainty. With them, speed becomes readable, navigable, and surprisingly calm. They are the silent language that makes speed possible. Continuous Maintenance as a Design Philosophy for a highway designed to handle vehicles moving at 200 km per hour or more, continuous maintenance isn't just a logistical necessity, it's a philosophy. It's not that unusual to just travel somewhere at 200 km an hour, which is around 125 miles an hour. But all things considered, on average, I would say it's probably best to imagine Audubon traffic. Every centimeter of the road is monitored, every crack is addressed promptly, and every surface is optimized to keep high-speed travel both possible and safe. Germany's approach to highway maintenance is fundamentally proactive rather than reactive. Instead of waiting for potholes to form or for wear to become dangerous, crews inspect roadways regularly using highly sophisticated methods. From aerial drones scanning for microcracks to sensors embedded in asphalt that monitor pressure and heat, Germany invests in constant surveillance of its infrastructure. This allows engineers to detect small issues, a hairline crack, a minor rut, or drainage inefficiency long before they pose a risk to drivers. In a country where cars routinely exceed speeds that would be illegal almost anywhere else, catching these problems early is crucial. Another key element in maintenance is scheduling. Maintenance is often performed at night or during low traffic hours, minimizing disruption while ensuring that every lane remains safe and efficient. Road closures are planned months in advance, and detours are carefully coordinated with local traffic authorities. Even temporary adjustments, such as lane reductions or speed restrictions in work zones, are engineered to ensure safety without unnecessarily frustrating drivers. The philosophy extends to materials and repair techniques as well. The teams use asphalt mixes and concrete overlays specifically designed for longevity. Road markings are refreshed with reflective paints that remain visible at high speeds and in adverse weather, and guardrails, barriers, and signage are inspected and replaced on a strict timetable. Maintenance isn't limited to the road surface alone. Bridges, overpasses, tunnels, and drainage systems all receive constant attention. For example, expansion joints in bridges are monitored to ensure they remain flexible and intact under the repeated stress of fast-moving trucks. Drainage channels are cleaned to prevent water pooling that could lead to hydroplaning. Even roadside vegetation is managed to prevent visual obstruction or hazards from falling debris. It's a system in which every component contributes to the safe flow of high-speed traffic, reinforcing the philosophy that the road itself is a partner in driver safety. Ultimately, continuous maintenance is what allows the Autobahn to fulfill its promise. Roads where speed is not limited by arbitrary rules, but by engineering, vigilance, and foresight. Without such dedication, even the best planned highway could deteriorate under the stress of modern vehicles, turning a symbol of freedom into a hazard. It is truly remarkable. Recycling Asphalt and Concrete Another remarkable aspect of Germany's highway system is how seriously it takes recycling. When sections of the Autobahn are resurfaced or rebuilt, the materials aren't discarded, they are carefully reclaimed, processed, and reintegrated into new road layers. This process begins with milling the old asphalt or concrete. 
Specialized machines grind the surface layer into small, uniform pieces while leaving the underlying base intact. This reclaimed material, often called reclaimed asphalt pavement, RAP, is then transported to nearby processing facilities where it is cleaned, sorted, and prepared for reuse. Concrete, similarly, is crushed into aggregate that can be incorporated into new layers or used as a base material. The key principle is that nothing is wasted and every bit of old highway material becomes part of the next generation of road. What makes Germany's approach particularly impressive is the high quality standards applied to recycled materials. Unlike in some countries, where recycled asphalt may be used only for low-speed secondary roads, Germany uses RAP and crushed concrete in mainline Autobahn surfaces, including high-speed sections. Engineers carefully test the mechanical properties of recycled aggregates to ensure they meet or exceed the strength, flexibility, and durability of new materials. This ensures that even stretches of highway-carrying vehicles at 200 km per hour or more are built to the same rigorous standards, whether the asphalt is brand new or partially recycled. The process doesn't stop at basic grinding and reuse. In recent years, Germany has integrated advanced material science into its recycling efforts. Recycled asphalt can be enhanced with additives that restore elasticity, improve adhesion, and resist water penetration. These enhancements mean that recycled materials can perform as well, if not better, than virgin materials, while supporting Germany's broader sustainability goals. Sustainable Materials and Environmental Integration Beyond the recycled asphalt and concrete discussed earlier, Germany increasingly uses low-noise asphalt, eco-friendly binders, and aggregates sourced responsibly. Low noise asphalt reduces sound pollution, a critical consideration in densely populated regions or areas near sensitive wildlife habitats. Specialized binders are designed to be more durable, reducing the frequency of resurfacing and therefore minimizing both material consumption and emissions. Beyond materials, the Autobahn is designed to integrate seamlessly with the natural landscape. Wildlife corridors and overpasses are standard on many stretches of highway, allowing animals to cross safely without endangering themselves or motorists. Even drainage systems are designed to prevent contamination of local waterways, ensuring that rain runoff from thousands of high-speed vehicles does not harm aquatic life. Sustainability also extends to energy and technology. Modern autobahns use energy-efficient lighting systems, often powered by LED technology, with sensors that dim lights when traffic is minimal. Some stretches even incorporate solar panels into noise barriers or nearby embankments, capturing energy to power lighting or monitoring systems. Traffic management sensors, already essential for safety, are also designed with low energy consumption, reflecting Germany's broader commitment to minimizing the environmental footprint of its infrastructure. Recycling, as discussed previously, is tightly integrated into this philosophy. On top of reusing asphalt and concrete, other construction materials are also reclaimed whenever possible, including metal barriers, signage posts, and even guardrails. Waste minimization is a deliberate design goal, ensuring that highway construction and maintenance reduce landfill pressure and conserve natural resources. This reflects a culture in which infrastructure is treated as a long-term investment, not a disposable commodity especially important when high-speed travel increases the demands placed on the road. Sustainability, recycling, and environmental integration all contribute to more than just ecological responsibility. They also tie directly into long-term cost efficiency. Every design choice, from materials to drainage, is made with the highway's full life cycle in mind. By investing in durable materials, Germany reduces future maintenance costs, preserves high-speed capability, and ensures that the Autobahn remains a world-class network for decades. The Autobahn is more than asphalt and concrete. It's a living system. Speed is not a gamble, but a reward of foresight, engineering excellence, and careful management. Every kilometer reflects a philosophy that blends human ambition with responsibility. A philosophy that has made Germany's highways a global benchmark for what is possible when vision, precision, and planning come together. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more of our content. See you in our next video.